Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at um, the internal rate of return or IRR approach to capital budgeting. The internal rate of return or IRR is really the measurement of an investment's rate of return. And we refer to it as an internal rate of return because when we calculate it, we exclude external factors like the risk-free rate, inflation, cost of capital, or the other various financial risks that um, exist out there. So the decision criteria is pretty straightforward. If the IRR is greater than the company's cost of capital, then the project will be accepted. However, if the IRR is less than the cost of capital, the project will be rejected. So here we have a project um, and we're going to look at their cash flows. So at time zero, which is the point at which the project has begun, the company will have to have um, $3,300. In other words, it's going to be a negative cash flow. They're going to have to spend $3,300 to launch the project. The project has a five-year life and we can see here the cash flows for each of those five years. The cost of capital for the firm is 7%. So when we get the IRR, we're going to compare it to that 7%. So I'm back with my BA2 plus calculator. All I've done here on the left is I've just taken the cash flows out of that table format and I've just assigned them to the period in which they occur. So I know cash flow zero is that beginning of the project and that will be my negative cash flow. For the five remaining years of the project, I have positive cash flows. So I'm going to use the cash flow worksheet in my calculator. Cash flow zero, 3300 negative, enter, and then down arrow. So this wants to know cash flow one is 990, enter, down. Now remember in your BA2 Plus, this F of 01, simply saying what is the frequency of cash flow 1, and we only get one of those, so we hit the down key. Cash flow 2 is 960, enter, down, again just one, so down. Cash flow 3, 840, enter, down, one of those, so we go down. Cash flow 4, 620, enter, down, again 1, so down again. Cash flow 5, 420, enter, down, only one of those, and we hit down. So now I've gotten all my cash flows in, and now what I want to do is I want to come to the IRR key on the BA2 Plus right here next to the NPV key. IRR, click that and it says compute. So that tells me I need to hit the CPT or compute key. I hit that. What the calculator tells me is that the internal rate of return for this project is 5.98%. At 5.98%, that is lower than the 7% cost of capital. So in this instance, the project will be rejected. In other words, that project is going to give them a return of only 5.98%, but it's going to cost them 7% for the capital to launch the project. And so it only makes sense that the, the project doesn't even cover their cost of capital. And so we will reject this specific project. I certainly hope this helped, and thanks for watching.